Hey, pretty young thing. I see you like the vibe. Don't get caught up in the wrong things. What's up, guys? I'm back with another video. So right now, your girl here just chilling at the beach, and I just decided to just turn on my camera and do a video. And as you can tell, you have a beautiful scenery today. We have the water. This kind of this lighting this way kind of dark and I kind of sunburned and look greasy and all that. I didn't come prepared to do a video I just decided to do a video right now and I think I'm gonna do as you can see by the title I think I'm gonna do a girl talk this lighting this way kind of it kind of dark but I wanted like to give you guys the beach let me see something let me see if I turn this way kind of better this way yes it kind of better this way let me see but i don't want i don't want y'all to see the bush i want you to see the beach uh are you gonna forgive me if i turn I, uh, if i uh, accept the beautiful view and the little poor lighting are you want the good lighting and the poor view which one if i was y'all i would want beautiful view Ain't that bad. Ain't really that bad. Anyways, guys, so today I'll be doing like a little girl talk. Uh, like my opinion on certain stuff. I have um, the things here and my phone. Everything is just so standing. And also going to be a slash mukbang. Right now, still going to get us some snacks or something from the beach bar down there. I don't know what he can get first, but I think he could just probably get like fries. I don't have like these like tortilla kind of chip things with dip. He can see if they have them and get them. And right here I have the Takis, the Flamin' Hot Cheetos, and the, um, what do you call this again? The cream cheese. So one of my subscribers asked me to try this, dipping the Takis down in this. But I hate Takis. Like y'all see my other video, like I freaking hate Takis. So that's why I just bring the Hot Cheetos too, just to try it guys i think i'm gonna just go with a good lighting you know because i really okay so this look a little better so let me get a first question okay so the first um thing is so just a little disclaimer this is like a spicy girl talk so I mean like if you're under age you might want to exit now I'm gonna wait on that exit but anyway so it's opinion on having sex the first night you meet someone okay so my opinion on having sex the first time you meet someone me personally like personally I don't think that I would have sex with someone on the first night but you know you don't have like you know you have like this phase where you go through like you know your wild phase you want to do something like spontaneous and something crazy just to say that you do it then probably yeah y'all go ahead and do it but like if you want that person like for something serious and like a you know a real relationship and stuff like that like i would like to get to know the person first you know know what i'm like what i'm like to eat you know like stuff like that. get to know them first and then you know you give them the cookie but not right off the bat but if you go ahead and do that, if you want to do it, you know that's all on you. It's your cookie, your privates, your jam, and you can do whatever you want with it. But if it's up to me, I wouldn't give it up on the first night. Next question. Next question is, does D-I-C-K hot? <laughs> okay. Um, no and yes. Because if you got a big, you know, if the person got a big pair, of course it gonna hurt, like, not hurt like, ah, oh my God, it's hurting me. Not like that, but you know, of course it gonna feel like a little discomfort until like your vagina get accustomed to the size of it, and then it gonna start to feel good. So it doesn't hurt if you got a big D-I-C-K, you gonna hurt for the beginning, and then, you got to go. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna try the um. I'm gonna try the. Oh shoot. I'm 
I'm gonna try the taki and the cream cheese now. I, I don't like takis at all, okay? I really don't like takis. So dip it in the cream cheese. I mean, it tastes normal. I swear to God, cream cheese, the um, make everything taste good. Like, I never really had cream cheese. My first time eating cream cheese, well, not first time. When I did a video with um, when I did the when I did the video with trying viral TikTok snacks, it was the first time I actually taste cream cheese. But it's pretty good. This one tastes bad. I'm gonna go ahead and then I'm gonna try it with them. With these. See? No, this. No. The cream cheese with the hot Cheetos tastes better, much better. Probably because I like the hot Cheetos and I don't really much cream the um, Takis. This tastes better. Like, this is a snack. Yep. Mm hmm. This is a snack right here, y'all. Mm hmm. Next question on my hand, I'll cheese them. Okay. I hope this, this quality don't really suck. Okay, so the next question is, do you think the amount of bodies matter? Um, let me tell y'all. These dudes out here for the streets, number one. And most of these dudes have, like, them can't even count the amount of bodies because they mean got no more body parts, like, no more fingers, no more toes, to count the amount of bodies them got. So, I don't feel like, okay... Them does have the amount of bodies and them doesn't get cut or whole or whatever the case is. But a minute a female now go ahead and have like say more than 10 bodies. Oh, she's a hoe. She's a donab or oh, whatever, whatever. Like nigga, you is for the streets too. If you, if you call and she a hoe, then you a hoe too. But the amount of bodies, um, I mean, I gotta be honest, like. If I were a, a male and he have like say like more than like my eyes jumping. I'm seeing your eyes jumping. Somebody talking about you. I mean who we talking about me? <laughs> I'm the sweetest loving person ever. But um as I was saying, me personally, what I was saying, not forget, oh yeah. So I ain't gonna lie. Like, if I have a dude and he have, like, more than 20-something bodies, like, I think I will feel a way, like, you know, I will feel a way because even though, like, he had all these bodies before me, I will feel a way because, like, you know, like, he gave a piece of his stuff to, like, all these females and, like, you know, so that's just me. I don't know. I just feel a way for that, but, like, not a way to, like, make it, like, affect the relationship or, like, you know, custom about it and stuff like that. Like, just, like, you know, feel a little way on the inside, but, like, you know but um so my answer to that would be kind of kind of everybody different everybody see things different everybody different so if it's a problem to me it might not be a problem to you it might be a problem to sarah not be a problem to lucy so me kind of not really it's not to make a problem about it but just be like you know like that kind of way like you know like this this female like had a piece of my man before you know that kind of way but so yeah not really not really no other question what should you do to prepare for a dick appointment <laughs> so i think i have um i have a video on this already oh this was like to prepare for overnight but it's same thing because if you're going overnight you're gonna get dick down so i think it's the same thing but um if you want to be extra, 
you can go ahead like say a couple hours before let's do pick you up at you drive to this dude house you could like do like a whole mask your whole um skin routine you know all of that but make sure you shave shave your little cookie make sure that is shaved you know make so you can make sure exfoliate your skin so your skin could be all nice and soft or whatever and oiled on your skin and um and listen do not put on a whole heap of perfume because females put on a whole heap of perfume and that's what like you know like if if he took a person that like to like lick you or kiss all on your neck and whatever the case is that's like perfume it can just smell like straight up perfume i'm gonna be like Ugh. so and don't really put on too much perfume like on your neck like just have like a nice smelling like body wash uh body gel or whatever the case is that you could smell like after your bed and refrain from the perfume a little bit put on like body spray like bath and body works never fails put on like some body spray like you know like only like spray a little bit like it's a little bit like probably behind your ear and you rub it and <clears throat> probably like here but don't like put it all over because if your man's want to just kiss all up on you, he going to be tasting like perfume and like, yeah, no. So, thing to do is exfoliate, skin routine, make sure you shave, you know, shave your areas, your legs, if you to shave your legs and just oil along your skin so you look like butter and smooth and have on cute, a cute matching set your bra and your panties matching cute and damn i thought that was a freaking snake i was ready to bust off yo i was ready to bust like just now i was taking a video of a lizard and disclaimer i hate lizards I took a video of a lizard right there and it was like in a position and then it jumped in another position oh my god nearly make me pee myself probably i would just add it in this clip so i can show y'all what i'm talking about then and now i seen like a thing on the sand like flipping all around but it's just a piece of um i think it's a piece of this thing from the tree and i thought i was a snake i was about to pee that way anyways guys so yeah now i lose track where i was so next question do you think it's wrong to on the first link i mean my personal like i said i don't judge like if you want to kind of first link go ahead go ahead go ahead do what you gotta do like say if y'all chilling and the vibe there and you know you're feeling like you want it and he like you know giving the right vibes and i end up doing it then you know problem you know problem sis but then no say if he trying to like you know come on like he trying to make a move on you and you're really feeling it then no but if are you on the same vibe the same page the same you know go ahead why not you know problem you know about a business like i said earlier it's your cookie just make sure protect yourself at all costs protect yourself you make sure he got on that condom so it's like make sure and then you're good to go like yeah how to deal with a toxic family member you don't deal with toxic family members you just don't you don't deal with them ignore them just avoid them at all costs i mean if this if this family member living inside your house living with you you just you know avoid conflict as much as possible you have to learn how to deal with these with this individual or individuals you don't you just you just don't deal with them like you just you just don't deal with them listen trust me family does <laughs> listen family does just you know sometimes treat you worse than actual strangers like sometimes you more find like your family being toxic than like actual strangers so i can understand this like a whole lot but you just don't deal with them period do you recommend birth control um me personally i wouldn't recommend birth control because birth control got a lot of side effects like a lot of side effects like birth control could cause like um blood clots it could it could um 
gear trouble like getting pregnant like in the future when you do want to get pregnant like i have some that i make you feel like you know like nauseous like it have so much side effects like i think the different ones have side effects so i wouldn't really recommend birth control i would just say you know be safe like use protection and stuff like that but if you want to use birth control then you go by your doctor and let them prescribe like the perfect one for you for your body type or whatever i know some people that do the injections some people just use the tablets some people are using things that are put inside their skin like you got like a whole heap of different ones but i wouldn't recommend it just like if you want to have like a family in the future and stuff like that i wouldn't recommend it because of the complications but some people do get put on birth control like me i did get put on well, it wasn't like straight up birth control. It was like, you know, like a, well, I would say a farm birth control, but I don't know if it's, but I don't even know if it got like a farm birth control. But yeah, like when I was um, a teenager, like my period was irregular. Like my period used to come this month, not that month. And just used to do what I want. And I didn't really have no problem with that. But you know, your parents sick, like, you know. So I went, take me to the doctor and then put me on birth control to regulate my period. And I had to go back and um, check up like a few months after then when i went check up he was like you know are you sexual active blah 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 like you know i i recommend you stay on top of these because these ones here don't really have side effects and i don't really um you know some birth controls like most of them didn't make it put on weight stuff like that like that one i wasn't i didn't put on weight with that one none of that but i only was on top of that because of my period to regulate my period but yeah i mean one to ten I wouldn't recommend it but if you feel safer on it then you can but yeah it does have a lot of um it just got a lot of side effects um before you go on it you should read up about them the brand I going on you should read up about it thoughts ah uh, leave a doctor tell you as much as possible I wonder if the light him back that way look better now okay so this one Sam how do you know when you're ready to have sex okay first of all if you ask yourself this question then probably you're not ready to have sex let me tell y'all do not rush the brush for the virgins out there that are watching this don't rush it I mean, sex is good, yeah, it's a part of life and all that, but don't rush it. Like, learn about it first. Learn about your body. Learn about all them things first before you go ahead and think about sex and all that. And you just know when you're ready, like, trust me, you gonna know when you're ready to have sex. Like, nobody gonna know for you. Like, you gonna just have this feeling, like, you gonna know. If you're questioning yourself about it, you ain't ready you ain't ready so it can just happen naturally like like say if you're about if you if you about to like you know have sex like if your mind like all over the place like you know you worrying about if you're gonna regret it and you worrying about like if you're gonna be with this person for the rest of your life and stuff like that you know you know some people got this whole like fairy tale shit like they don't want to lose them virginity to the person them gonna be with for the rest of my life i mean ain't really shit i take that back he ain't shit but that would be nice for you to virginity to somebody i can be with for the rest of your life but let's be realistic here i that that that's like how much percent like a low percentage but you just have to do it like with somebody i guess somebody that you're really into that you trust i guess because i think you're gonna like you're gonna have somebody that you trust um you know you gonna know when you ready trust me like only you gonna know and when it happen you gonna see what i'm talking about you gonna know when you're ready like you gonna feel it like you gonna just know like i had known i wasn't ready i know when i wasn't ready you know to have sex and then when i lost my virginity like i was ready like i didn't feel no type of way like you know like reg like regret none of that like so you gonna know when it's time like i said do not rush learn about sex learn about your body learn about all these things before you go ahead and rush the brush you got a lot of time sis well 
you know we don't know we don't know when you know we gonna get called back up to heaven but just don't rush it don't rush it take it from me don't rush it opinion on friends supporting other friends but doesn't support you how you support them ha let me tell you this is so common you know like this is so common for real like if i have friends <clears throat> if i have friends if i have like say five friends whatever the case is five four three two whatever i support all these friends the same exact way i support them the same way i'm supporting um lisa more than i supporting stacy no i support everybody the same way and i just feel like if you have friends like they should support you in the same way like if you got like a business if you got whatever it is you're doing support you like in whatever it is you're doing it just support you in the same way me supporting other people but you see people does want to people just want to go ahead and just support like you know like says and got other friend just support this friend or whatever the case is and then no and like when you reach up top that's when i'm one know you that's when i'm gonna want to talk to you want to support you want to say oh i know she from this uh, stay over there with that stay over there with that shit because it wasn't supporting me when i was done here but now up here want to support me so yeah i just think that you should just support all your friends equally like why not like like nowadays people just want to be like envy and be jealous like you know like like we could we could fix each other crowns like come on like i don't know that topic is for a whole different day but yeah we should be able to help each other because them time is not your time you and this person could be doing something you could be doing this thing before this person and this person just start doing it and none like you know like them done reach like levels done reach up there and then you know you gonna feel some type of way and be like oh like you know you're doing this long time and this person just come and i'm over but guess what your time and their time are not the same what god has for you no one can take away like come on we have to stop being so small minded and we need to be happy for each other we need to support each other we need to support one another and just be there for each other like i just don't get that i just don't get that whole envious jealousy i don't get it i really don't get it the people that love me i love them and even my and even the people that don't really like me no hard feelings because guess what when it's time for this man to come down it's gonna be pure so yeah support your friends 100 percent, 100 percent equally come on opinion on your friend being upset because you called them out on their bullshit um first of all you should be able like if you have a friend y'all should be able to disagree agree and all that even if, uh, to me to me a friendship is like a relationship the same thing you have to put effort you have to put time like you know you have to consider somebody else feelings and all that if your friend do something you should be able to pull this person aside and tell them hey jane lisa stacy ruth whatever like i don't like the way how you say that i don't like um the way how you did this and that person should you know apologize okay i sorry for doing this and i am move on and being friends or whatever the case is like why hold that up in your heart like why hold that against you know the person like if are you if are you friends and let me tell you that word friend that word friend hmm, problems i have doing my cheese color hand up in your face but that word friend comes with a lot but i think you should be able to tell your friend what you don't like and them do the same thing tell you what i'm doing like and are you walk on it and then move past it because guess what friendship relationships both of them gonna have ups and downs and if that person just um you know don't want to hear it you tell them how you feel that person don't want to hear it or whatever the case is and i'm just in your friend no more than guess what sis that person was never your friend in the first place so i just feel like yeah friendship Y'all have to disagree, agree, fall out, fall in, and move on. The most important thing, you apologize and you move on. If, it, if that's not the case, it was never your friend, 
period okay the other one is how can you tell when someone doesn't like you i mean that is just like that's easy like me i just work on energy like i just feel people energy like this like like this you can tell when somebody don't like you like them energy you come on you can tell when somebody don't like you if that person is vibing with you you can tell energy energy just feel the energy and you gonna know how to keep calm around people who did you wrong ignore them simple ignore well just ignore like you have to if somebody like did you something did you wrong whatever the case is you have to deal with that yourself deal with it and then move on and then if you see that person in public if them come in this way you go the other way if i have to be if i have to be in the same place you just ignore them tunnel vision straight ahead you don't look east west straight ahead just pretend it don't exist simple is it okay that your friend wants to be sexual active with your ex what no 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 that is my question that even a thought no if that person is your friend no period no 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 why would they even think about having sexual interaction with your ex if that person is your friend like hello me if i have a friend like you cannot leave your man you can't leave your man next to me alone it ain't that you know i gonna try to roll on that but you just that's the amount of respect i have for you like you have to be there when you're a man that you have to be there if you're gonna be around i ain't coming around there period because you know these men for the streets many on a boundaries and all that some females too but now nah, i don't want to be around your man by myself none of that like you you got to be present at all times so no it is not okay if your friend want to have sexual relations with your ex that's not a friend if she thinking about that no come on don't let me hit the camera period no friend would want to do that no no good friend would want to do that anyways so can your boyfriend have a girl best friend and vice versa no <laughs> i just joking but i don't think so like a girl best friend mm -mm. i don't think so you might trust your boyfriend and your boyfriend might have like a level of respect for you but you know some females might not have the same respect for you at like what your boyfriend have i mean probably it is a possibility like it is a possibility that some fem like you know some males have female best friends and some females have male best friends but when it comes to me now that don't sit well with me that don't sit well with me so no no female ain't want another woman be always with her man all up under her man and mm. so no i don't think so that's me personally okay so the last one because this is 38 minutes already the last one is how do you speed up the process of getting over somebody Arx! hold up why are you trying to speed up the process let me tell y'all that is impossible there is no way to speed up a process of getting over somebody let me tell you something take it from me oh shit let me tell y'all something there's no way of speeding up a process of getting over somebody back then you could have tell me must squeeze toothpaste down my throat and you're gonna feel better and your girl would be quick to do it let me tell you you have to go through that pain you have to feel that pain you have to actually feel your heart like in pieces like you have to actually feel your heart breaking you have to go through that pain you have to face that pain you have to feel that pain and guess what there is no date on healing this this takes time like you could be like this for like years like a year two years 
like it all takes time like you gonna just say okay by the 24th of this month i gonna be healed i gonna be over mm -mm. that's not how it works like you gonna just you can just adapt to this feeling you can just start to start to being okay with this feeling you can just start to feel like this hot tell you don't feel nothing no more like tell you so numb and then just one day you gonna realize oh and i didn't think on this today i didn't feel as bad as i felt like a couple days ago like this gotta happen on our own time sis like you cannot speed up this process like trust me you cannot you have to go through all of the stages you have to but trust me when you reach to that stage whoo child the best feeling to just oh lot my thing going so as i was saying don't rush it feel it feel everything and it will happen in our own time most of all pray girl you get on your knees and you pray you pray and you actually mean it when watch that lord watch the lord do wonders miracles anyways guys that's it for my little girl talk my little beach girl talk slash mukbang well not really a mukbang because still just come back with the food let me tell y'all what he get. Okay, we got some fries. I'm gonna see the other thing. Okay, and he got some tacos. What kind of tacos do you mean? Chicken. He got chicken tacos and some tortilla chips. So, guys, all right, guys. I hope you guys like this video. I'm sorry. It wasn't really a mukbang my food just arrived and I'm finished. Well, at least I tried the Cheetos, Takis, and a cream cheese. It was good. But I like it better with the hot Cheetos. It tastes better with Cheetos just because I don't like Takis. But I hope you guys like this video. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next video. Bye.